It all started with a vision of two brothers. A dream grounded on the idea that the Philippines, an archipelago, must have its own airline industry. So, in 1932, the brothers Eugenio and Fernando Lopez, cousins to Victoria Lopez de Araneta and Don Salvador Z. Araneta created the Ilo Ilo Negros Air Express Company or INAEC with just two aircrafts. The first inaugural flight was from Iloilo to Manila on February 1, 1933 using a Stinson tri-motor. Later on, the Philippine legislator granted INAEC a 30-year franchise enabling it to fly the manila bacolod cebu davao and manila Sambuanga routes. By 1937, INAEC acquired the 16-seater Sikorsky the same airplane being used then by the Pan American Airways in the United States. The company thinking ahead into the future introduced the steward service for the first time and by the end of the decade, the company was already flying 2,000 passengers a month. When World War II broke out, the INAEC fleet in Iloilo was completely destroyed. But the entrepreneurial spirit of its founders lingered on and the company bounced back, this time renaming the company as Far Eastern Air Transport Incorporated or FIAT. To maintain a reliable fleet at all times, the company opened the Far Eastern School of Aeronautics on March 4, 1946 to some 300 students thereby ensuring a steady supply of competent aircraft, mechanics, and engineers. In June 6, 1946, Far Eastern School of Aeronautics was incorporated and renamed Fiati Institute of Technology or Fiati Tech. Don Salvador Z. Araneta became its first president. Don Salvador's passion inspired the pioneering students of Fiati Tech by offering other courses in science and technology apart from aeronautics and aviation. To keep abreast with the latest developments in aviation and other fields of science, Fiati invited professors from the United States who were experts in jet propulsion, electronics, radar technology, and more. In 1947, the founders decided to focus solely in running a learning institution for science and technology, aeronautics and aviation. Fiati Tech made history in 1949 when it launched its first Philippine-made glider that was piloted by Major Henry Miter, one of the pillars of the Fiati School of Aviation. Later, Dr. Victoria Lopez de Araneta became the second president of Fiati Tech after her husband, Don Salvador Z. Araneta, handed the reign to her. This time, many graduates of Fiati Tech became commissioned officers in the Philippine Air Force, a confirmation of its excellent educational program. With strong bias for research and development, then the Fiati Vice President Dr. Gregorio E. Zara invented the alcohol-based aircraft engine, another first in the school's history. In 1959, the new science building was constructed and several hectares of land in Quezon City and Malabon were purchased for the campus expansion program. Fiati again made history when it opened its own television station, the first to be licensed in the country. By 1959, there were about 40 courses in engineering, vocational and technical courses, liberal arts, business, administration and other science and technology courses offered by FIATI. In the same year, the school was granted university status and became FIATI University. It also started offering high school classes. Fiati University continued its upward momentum in the 1960s. In 1961, 
when the Soviet Union launched the spacecraft Vostok 1, Fiat launched General Marix, a locally made robot that can talk, move and obey simple commands. Then came the turbulent 70s, but Fiat University had a different kind of revolution. Enrollment even soared to a historic high of 45,000 students in just one school year. By the 1980s, Fiat faced many challenges, but when Jose Segovia was sworn in as its third president, these were transformed into opportunities. By the 1990s, Fiat University completely evolved into an institution of learning committed to high standards. Fiat graduates reap many honors and recognitions by topping board examinations, national competitions, and besting other schools in the field of sports, arts, and military training exercises. By the turn of the new millennium, Fiat University continued to create solid milestones. In 2013, Fiat University was awarded a certificate of recognition for having 10 or more examinees with at least 80% passing grade in the November 2013 Aeronautical Engineering Licensure Examination. To this day, Fiat prides itself on the sterling performance of the College of Maritime Education for remaining number one in the national capital region. Fiat continues to fly high with its outstanding Graduates of Merchant Marine Deck Officer Program, Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation, and Merchant Marine Engineering. Seven decades and counting, Fiat University continues to leave its mark in history with its outstanding students, faculty, and a dynamic academic program where mediocrity is never an option. Because for the men and women of Fiat University, there are no limits to what can be done. The bright future of every Fiatinian has now been written today, not tomorrow.